Rachel and I spent a day at the Electrify Expo in Austin, Texas at the Circuit of the Americas. Here are the highlights. So let's talk about our morning so far at Electrify Expo. We got here, the Expo wasn't open, but the demos were. Right, and we went immediately to the line for the Cybertruck, and it, we were in line for a while. We got to, you got to drive the Cybertruck, we did that demo, then we got immediately in line for the Rivian, and we were in line for a while. A line for a while. And, and then we- Just what you do with the demos here. Yeah, we drove that, and then we just went and had a delicious but very expensive lunch, and now we're ready to do Lunch on the start finish straight. Just oh, yeah. have to say that. Yeah. Uh, all the food trucks were set out there on the front start finish straight. They they closed down the pit lane for the demo rides of people going through. And now we're going to figure out what we're going to do in the afternoon. We might try out a couple of trucks. We're going to have a comparison video between the Cyber Truck and the R1T. We were able to get uh, a video in the Cyber Truck, but we were not allowed to with the Rivian. Uh, we will see if there's any other issues like that while we're here today. Uh, but we're going to check out some of the e-bikes and. And uh, see what's next. So we're leaving the EV demo district right now, um, which is sad because it's a sunny day, it's warm, and right now we've got shade over here next to the uh, pit paddock. But um, but now we're going to go over to the exhibitors, and this is where our video is really going to kind of take off uh, for our visit here at Electrify Expo, which, according to their socials, this is the last time. Well, it's, they're not coming back here next year. The Electrify Expo will not be back here at Circuit of the Americas next year. Um, I don't know if that means they're going to find another location in Texas or if there won't be another one in Texas next year. And if that's the case, uh, based off of where else it was this year, the next closest one to us is Denver. And uh, Denver's a bit more than just a day's drive from us. So we may not have another one of these videos in the near future. Um, and who knows what's going to go on with uh, today's politics, but we'll just we'll go from there. But we're going to enjoy what we've got while we have it, which is something I recommend everybody do right now. So it looks like one of the first exhibits that we're going to come up on, we've got a high-speed uh, demo zone for bikes, and one of the types of bikes that they have going around this track is a Naxion IM. And these things, uh, my son, we texted him a picture, he called it an E-Grom. It looks to be a little bit bigger, it actually looks bigger than a Honda Grom. Um, but here, here comes one, I'll show you. But the neat thing about them, it, the website says 111.5 miles of range, which is comparable to mixed or city driving range on my Harley Davidson Livewire. These things start after the shipping and uh, other information they started around eighty five hundred dollars and Rachel uh, sat on one and she can actually put both of her feet down on it and it doesn't feel super heavy so uh, it's kind of an e-grom so there you have it uh, but it's not really an e-grom it's just comparable enough to it uh, we're gonna go over and check out some of the other manufacturers here in a minute that looks familiar a CCS plug. Yay! I somehow don't think this is a Nissan Aria.
See, this is the point of having lightning. It can have TVs on three sides of your cargo bed. So, Rachel, this is a Polestar 4. Mm-hmm. Oh, just pull on it and get in. I know. I'm just noticing that it sticks out. It's very interesting. <laughs> so, it was set <laughs> some other way, so I adjusted the seat while I was the door was open, and as soon as I closed, closed the door, it pulled it all the way back. So, it has memory seats, but, <laughs> uh, okay, yes. so, big center screen. Um, Additional dash screen. Big some also some controls on the panel and it does have stocks right? and look at the center console yeah massive center console this is where you charge your phone. phone this is your radio controls i guess it looks like and the shifter is going to be up here on this stock that is a camera it sure is so we are in a lucid mm -hmm. the screen goes all the way from there to there looks like the shifter is just like our model three mm -hmm. Except we got everything here. Mm -hmm. Big honking. Oh, there's another screen. Look at that. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. <laughs> Let's do it that way. Does it by itself? That's Does it by amazing. itself? Okay, cool. This sort of uh, faux wood grain reminds me of our Tesla before we uh, did the carbon it up fiber. Yeah. The carbon fiber. It does have this leather wrap dash, which we have not had in a car. I want you before. to look up at your sh at your. Oh look! It's got the. It's got this super huge glass. Very interesting. <laughs> it's like no roof bar. Yeah, there's no roof bar. Gotta say, this one has a nice handle. Nice big, yeah. chonky, chonky handle for you yeah. to grab a hold of. Very convenient. So this is gonna feel more like a full-size truck. I think this is the biggest center console screen we've seen in any vehicle. And, and it has some buttons. Does have some buttons. Then it has a little. And you've got your big screen here. Lots mm -hmm. of stuff. Regen on demand paddle because this is a GM. Which you like. Oh, and this one has Super Cruise. Mm -hmm. That's the monitoring system for Super Cruise right there. Again, it's a that's a camera, not a mirror. Is, is actually a camera. It's pretty comfortable. It is. Uh, it's definitely nicer and more comfortable. It looks a little bit more luxe than the Lightning. Even the well, platinum is, version that the, we were in. This is the GMC, right? Which is usually a little bit more luxe than the Chevys, and this is the Denali trim. So this is top of the line. This is the nicest one, yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty nice. It's 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 definitely like comparable to the Rivian as far as appointments, I think. Yeah. But they didn't have these up for demo, which which yeah. is kind of sad. We didn't get to drive this. Model Y, I think this is a Model Y performance. That's comfortable. Does it feel like it's more comfortable than our car? Well, it does have the side bolsters, so probably, yeah, a little bit. This feels good on my lower back. Uh, it we're, might just be the position it's in, but it doesn't We're up good. higher, it's easier for me to get into, too. Yeah, it's It nice. may just be the, it's better on your lower back, but it might be. Well, it, I have the same issue with the headrest. I would still need my pillow. But, uh, but the lower back definitely feels better, and I like the side bolsters, and uh, also my feet hurt, so it's nice to just sit down. So this is going to kind of wrap up our day at Electrify Expo. It's, mm -hmm. It got hot. It, it wasn't did. It wasn't this hot last year. No, right? last year it was actually really cold. This year it's just hot. But really, we're recording this uh, conclusion clip because we're in a Model Y with the air conditioning on, and our feet are a little sore, and it's hot outside. Why? Because we like you. Exactly. But uh, this is a Model Y performance that we're sitting in, and um, yeah, we're up a little, we're up higher. It was a little easier for me to get in, but uh, it, it otherwise it looks very familiar to me. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much very um, much like our Model Three. It's a little bit bigger, a couple of other you know small differences, but mostly it's very similar. But uh, thanks for coming along with us on this one. What were some of the highlights that you had uh, today? Uh, I don't know. We did so much. It's it's hard to even pick out any highlights. It mm. was, there was just a lot of stuff going on. That little steel chainsaw, you liked it. Oh, that's true. <laughs> we didn't even and, get footage of that. And then there was the... Uh, like spending time with the Rivian. Check out our, our truck comparison uh, coming up. Um, the the Sierra Denali was here. We got to sit in the Lucid. Yeah. Um, You've been trying to get me to sit in the Lucid for, for a, a long while. time. Yeah. Um, we've still got a couple of more things that, you know, I probably will have already shown, but we're in a nice, cool place. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. See you on the next one. Bye.